Hello guys and welcome back. So today we are going to do some old school dead bull farming, also known as the skeleton ranger or bergen farm. Back in the days this place was quite popular, players always came here to farm anids and although those days are gone, it's still a good way to make some money. There are a total of 16 mobs, uh, 15 skeleton rangers and one necklet horseman and if you do the same as me you can achieve sub 2 minute runs. About the drops I can tell you that these undead drop a lot of bones rarely dust too, then we get anid golds, mostly dead bows, uh, those are quite common, uh, I got like one every second run, and of course we get decay door emblems, uh, those can be traded for consumable points during events, and occasionally runes too. And the best part of this farm is that any profession can do this using monk secondary and smiting prayers, even warriors and paragons too. So the build is a classic 55 or 100 fight thingy, and to make it work we have to lower HP with superior runes and then use some weapon of enchanting. The low HP is necessary to make the characters invincible, because if we use protective spirit the max damage we take from normal attacks or spells is exactly 5 if we have 55 HP and it's 10 if we have 105 HP. Once we have that we must use either shielding hands or shield of absorption to activate god mode and actually receive 0 damage. Balthazar Spirit provides good energy management, healing brings and mending negates the poison and bleeding, uh, you know, caused by the undeads, while Shield of Judgment takes care of the damage, plus Might Condition speeds up the farm a bit. So this is how the build works, and another thing guys, if you go out of Bergen Hot Springs, there is a good chance that you will get not three groups of rangers, but another spawn. In this case just go back and reason till you get the perfect one. A good way to notice the proper spawn is by finding the Necrit Horseman. And also very useful to go out and back to save time with the rezoning. And now let me show you a full run from the warrior's point of view, but like I said this works with any of the professions. And a good tip guys, don't just farm one group at a time, but ball all three groups up and kill all 16 mobs to save time. So immediately after zoning use Mending and Balthazar Spirit, then aggro the first group. Uh, we have to use Plot Spirit followed by either Shielding Hands or Shield of Absorption and Healing Breeze. Also it's important to wait a little bit at each group or they might run back to their original spot later. After the first group go to the left one and again wait a bit, let all of them hit you a couple of times and in the meantime maintain the protecting enchantments that will give uh, enough time for the ranger to keep up with you. By going to the last group, check the aggroed groups because they can run away sometimes. And when you reach the corner of the house, slow down a bit and move backwards and try to board the first two groups at the house. But be careful if you overdo this, the first group will run back since we are quite far from their spot at this point. When the ball is decent, go back and bring the last group close to this ball and activate Shield of Judgment and use Might Condition anytime you can. When all foos are dead, pick up the drops, resign and do it again. Anyway, there is a chance that the nearby grasping ghouls will join the fight, but those should not be a problem, actually just increasing your chance for good drops. Also you can continue the farm in this area, but I think the most efficient is to grind only the first three groups. Ok, so I will show you every profession now, uh, but if I found another build or some alternatives, I use those instead. But uh, this first build I've shown you works on all characters as well. I choose an almost wild tier build on my assassin. The usage is simple, maintain shadow form and uh, other enchantments and spike with Vestral's demise. Let's move on, another classic build, Wow of Strength Dervish. The Dervishes have a bit higher HP, it's a natural HP boost they possess, but the build works with very similar to the classic 55 monk build. Maintain the monk enchantments and spike with vow of strength, uh, staggering force and iromite's attack. And I have something new on my elementalist, because double dragon is a special kill due to the fact that it doesn't cause mobs to scatter, so if your HP is somewhat low like 300 you can become invisible with prod spirit and stone flesh aura, then you can kill the skellies with the elite, some burning and the ebon wards help. Mesmeries of Wastrels and 55 Hybrid, there is not much new to say here, just stay alive guys with the prod skills 
and spike them down with Vistro, then tap, another Vistro, another tap. For the monk I brought a mystic regen alternative just to show you another option. If there is a heavy HP regen somewhere, their secondary with mystic regen can save the day. Uh, since the monks can invest into smiting prayers more than other professions, their DPS here is bigger. Ergo they are not required to ball up mobs, just stand there and see them die. Necro is another classic. Uh, Spiteful Spirit is the Necro's best friend when it comes to solo farming. Ball the scale is up and spike with the SS. My Paragon was the only character of mine who didn't finish Warring Krita. That's why you see these annoying NPCs now. I if you have the same best to complete the quest line, or these allies will make your farming difficult. Anyway, the build is the same as the first one. For Rangers, I choose something completely new. I think this is my first farming with, uh, with their new elite, but I have, I have to admit it has potential. And I was only using out to H HP regen of it, but it's a strong elite for sure. Stoneflash Aura reduces damage here and Whirling Defense destroys enemies quickly. It's not a life insurance though, since you are not protected against the horseman spells. Uh, for example, Desecrate Enchantments deals over 200 damage, so you have to be very quick using this build. But you could even make a 55 HP Whirling Hybrid to, to solve the latter. And for last but not least, here is my Ritualist. I really love this Venge who was Khan High build, one of my favorites. Uh, killing all three groups might be difficult at first, but with uh, some practice and quick reflexes, plus good timing, you can do that as well. So guys, if I would have to choose just one profession for this farm, I would say Monk, because you can skip the bowling phrase, which is the hardest part, I think. Plus, they can extend the elite skill, they have 16 of smiting prayers, and the farm is the easiest with them. Anyway, all builds are in the description, if you still have questions write a comment, subscribe if you haven't, or just check my solo farm playlist. And as always, thanks for watching and take care guys.